So let's come back here to group. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yes, so let's come here to group members, of course. Mm -hmm. So first of all, let's check for group members. Now, the row should be moderator, that's important, or admin, yes? So here, what we're looking for is the group ID. So we're looking for a place where the group ID is equal to that uh, the user ID of that post, okay? That's one of those. Or, oh, and the row is at least, uh, what's this, uh, moderator or admin. So I hope that's not uh, too confusing. So this will not be true in our case. So it's going to come to this. So this will not be true either. So it's just going to bypass here. So I'm just going to say group posts here. So at this point, what I want to do is read from uh, the database, okay? So luckily here we have something that reads from the database. So I will copy that, oopsie. It's hard to know what I have done. Okay, there we go. So let me move this in there like this. So are we not repeating ourselves? No, we didn't declare the DB here. So this is the one I, oh, so I said select all from group members, right? Group members where so what is the where clause again? Where group ID is equal to that group there, that ID, and row is equal to that or admin. So, so before, let's say for example, where row is equal to admin or row is equal to, oh, not double quotes, but single quotes is equal to, moderator so here i want to put these two inside a bracket because they should be dealt as one entity like that if that is true and at the same time the group id so instead of post id here i will say uh, group uh -huh. So the group ID is equal to group ID. So where do we get the group ID? Well, the group ID in our case, because this is a post, will either be in owner. Yeah, actually let's use owner in our case. Because every post will have owner, so that is fine. So one post, instead of user ID here, Wait a minute. Let's use group ID here. Oh, sorry. Group ID is equal to that. Instead of the user ID, we get the owner because every post will have that like this. Okay. Then we can use that group ID. So if I come to this side, you see that group ID is equal to group ID limit one. Mm -hmm. So instead of having my post here, we're just going to say check, just because we are checking read database. If is array check like this, if we've returned a result, then we can return true, shall we? Mm -hmm. Like this. So let's give it a shot. Let's uh, refresh. And it's still not working. Ooh, looky there. So what exactly are we doing wrong? So here, let me try and say the SQL is equal to, oh, actually, I'll say echo SQL. And then let's die right there, right? So let's see if we actually pass through there. So clearly we're not passing through there for some reason, for one reason or another. This is why this is not working. So let's see, first of all, if it's set post ID, this is a post, really good. Then this else, okay. So I just want to know if we are getting to this point, I will click die here. 
So it has died because I can't see any more posts after that. So which means we are getting here. So at this point, we are getting to this point. Let me put it here. Let's see if it's working here. Oh, so we are getting here. So let me undo a little bit and get back to the echo SQL and die. Let's see if that actually happened. So maybe I just didn't see it. Okay, so down here, I didn't see it. So it says select all from group members where row is equal to admin or row is equal to moderator and group ID is equal to... Okay, so everything here is actually fine. It's all working good. The only problem is I am using myself as the owner of the group. I am not a moderator here. So there is no such thing as moderator yet or admin here. The admin is with the group name itself. So we have to do one more check. So this is group posts, uh, moderator or added admin. Now here we'll have to have one more for group owner. Group owner right there. Okay, so the group owner will do exactly the same thing. Now let's copy all that and paste it here. Now the thing is, is going to change here. So select all from users. This is all we need. Where, right? We don't need all this. We just need, uh, what do we need? User ID, this one right here. Okay, so, oh, sorry there, sorry. We are doing it here, group owner. So I will say user ID is equal to user ID there. So we want where the owner is equal to the user ID. Let me come back here, user ID. Uh -huh. So why are we uh, doing this? Selector from users where owner is equal to user ID. So the user ID here we are getting is the user ID that is in the post itself. So that actually is not going to work uh, for a very specific reason. We are supposed to use my ID instead, right? We are not supposed to use this actually. So sorry about that. Let's use my ID. So if I, the, the, the logged in person, the person that's logged in right now is the owner in users where p -p 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 is equal to my ID. And we have to make sure that it's a very specific thing that we own and the user ID is equal to. So we want uh, the user ID of the group itself. So too bad I deleted that, I still need it. This one here. Uh, wait a minute. So inside the post, the owner. Okay, so that's the owner that we want. Okay, so here this one is user ID is equal to, so it's group ID, that's what we're going to call it. Which has already been set here actually. But uh, let's change it a little bit here, group. And we want the user ID here. So let me get that, use group ID. User ID is equal to group ID. So let me confirm here what I'm doing. So selector from users where owner is equal to my ID. So let's go to the database itself and see this in real time. Okay, so the group name that we're looking for is this one. This is the user ID of the group name. Yes, yes. So remember that for every post that uh, is owned by the group, both the owner and the user ID of that post will contain this ID right there. So we are looking for, so when we say this and set there, we're setting the group ID because both the user ID and owner will contain the same value as we had seen before. So group ID will be equal to this value here. Yes? Mm -hmm. So user ID equal to that. So that's our group right there. Oh, battery low. And then the owner is this user right there. So this is all good and should work. So let me refresh before my battery runs out and I refresh. Ooh, still not working. 
Okay, so I think we have a slight problem here somewhere. And I think it's probably here. So what we'll do is, let me print and uh, echo this one more time. Echo that and die. I want to see something I missed on my query. Okay, so there it is. So the user ID is empty here. So I think that's where the problem is. And I think that is caused by this because if we do not have the parent, then this will be empty. So we are using the wrong thing. So here, I think let's use row because that's what comes with uh, its own group ID and the user ID there. So I will refresh. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our edit and delete. So let's see. Yeah, so this post doesn't belong to us and we don't have the edit or delete, but this one does. And we have the edit and delete. So I think uh, things are going well. So let me try and delete this. Click delete. And here we are. Okay, because I do own the content, so it's allowing me to delete it. So let me try and delete. Okay, and there we go. It's actually working. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.